Ah yes, the pivotal question that you guys want answered. Can you play PUBG on the iPad 8? Can you do a video review playing PUBG on the iPad 8? Can you test PUBG on the iPad 8? Well sure we can! Here at the Geek Labs, we are going to test out PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile and Mobile Legends Bang Bang to see if the iPad 8 is worth your monies at all. So, let's hop to it. We have PUBG set up on the iPad 8. We're going to just go through the settings to see what we've got here. So, right, we're going to graphics and of course, we want uh, Ultra HD. So, we'll wait for that to download the pack. And then, of course, we want the frame rate to be Ultra. We're gonna enable anti-aliasing as well. And everything else should be all right. Right, so we got everything in check. So we're going to play some PUBG. So what we've got is uh, the Ultra HD pack. So the graphic setting is way high. Everything looks good. Uh, we don't, I don't see any frame rate drops currently, but we'll see once we start the game. Piece of shit. Why you punch me? I'm a friend. Wow, well, nobody? Oh shit. Okay, somebody. Oh, okay, we won. So there you have it, folks. It runs perfectly fine on the iPad 8. Okay, so uh, with this being said, let's try and win another game on Call of Duty Mobile. All right, so we got Call of Duty Mobile set up on the iPad 8. Let's go check our settings real quick as well. We'll go for advanced mode, because we are pros. Okay, and we are going to also check the audio and graphic settings. The graphic quality was set to very high. Frame rate, let's hit to max, which is max. Uh, I'm gonna enable ragdolls, depth of field, and anything else will be on auto adjust. Well done. Well done. Okay, so we're playing Mobile Legends Bang Bang. I'm gonna pick Bruno here. And start the game. This is on ultra settings. I'm gonna press high frame rate mode. So we're playing at 60.
Yep, that's another win. So three wins, three for three. Well done. All right. So the final verdict, can it play games? Yes. Can it play games in high graphic settings? Yes. Can it play in high frame rate modes? Definitely yes. So for a 499 Singapore dollars price tag, you do get something that's faster than a Snapdragon 855 phone. And if you're a casual mobile gamer, this is probably something perfect for you. The iPad 8 could possibly be the best value to performance tablet that we've seen on the market. However, those who are more into the competitive gamer side might want to give this a miss as the iPad 8 doesn't have the high frame rate like a 120Hz screen that we see on the iPad Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Tab Plus. Because as you all know, more frames wins games. <laughs> But all in all, the iPad 8 is still perfect for everyday use and not only just for gaming. So that's it! You've got your verdict, you guys wanted a review, we've done it. And if you have not seen our exclusive hands-on video on the iPad 8, do check it out, link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and share this with your good old bunch of friends. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing and smash that notification bell icon so you can stay updated to our latest geeky news and tidbits. Until then, this is Zaki signing off. Wahoo!